Hey everyone, I'm Karen Smith, and I'm back this time with a pistol. So when you start doing pistols, um, there's a, a lot of assessment that needs to take place. And I have a whole other video series on that um, with step-by-step -step assessments. But here I'm just going to show you the pistol. And if you need to have those assessments and see where you should be training, then definitely look into those steps. But for today, I'm going to show you the body weight pistol, I'm going to show you the loaded pistol, and then I'm going to show you an alternative if pistols just aren't for you. Um, and if you're flexion intolerant, then pistols, I, I wouldn't recommend them. So what you're going to do body weight, I'm going to show you from the side. You're going to plant your foot, then you're still going to hinge at the hips just like you would in other squats. So we're going to hinge, leaving this leg out in front of us, and you're going to pull yourself to the ground. Pause, and stand back up. Same thing if you were going to do that loaded. So you would clean the bell, plant your foot, pull yourself to the ground, and stand back up. You can also do them holding goblet style if you'd like. So plant, pull yourself to the ground, pause, and drive back up. But like I mentioned, pistols aren't always great for everyone. So how can you still get that same benefit? You can um, use a box. So this would be more of a single leg squat versus a full blown pistol. Um, they're also great for those that just have tight hamstrings. If you cannot extend your leg out in front of you and keep it there for a pistol, then this is a great alternative. So stand on a box. It doesn't necessarily have to be this high, but the key is, you're just going to drop this leg down rather than holding it out in front of you. So just sit and come back up. Sit and come back up. So I hope those help.